What is up, YouTube? My name would be OG Nick Marsh. This is Focus Hip Hop, and today! So, I just listened to The Heart Part 6 by Drake. Oh, uh, by the way, um, if the, if the camera quality looks a little shitty, it's because I'm recording this video in Photo Booth. Bruh, I deleted, like, half the apps on my phone. I deleted every single picture in my iPhone. And yes, I did go to the recently deleted photos, uh, folder and deleted all the shit in there too. Tell me why the storage is still full in my iPhone. What the fuck? I even, I didn't, I feel dumb because I, I bought extra storage in iCloud and uploaded all my photos there because I thought that that would be a way to fucking, uh, never mind. It, I'm getting off topic. Oh, uh, also if I'm, if my like demeanor is off right now, it's because it's May 5th. Uh, if you go to FocusHipHop.com, look at what I posted on May 5th, you'll get why I am fucking exhausted right now. Um, but anyway, I just listened to the song, and I thought it was okay. Um, some of the lines... I don't know, man. I just... Um, This is going to be a short video because I'm not talking about every single thing. He he claims that he fed uh, an, an OVO member, fed Kendrick Lamar fake information. Uh, I really don't know what to believe at this point. But um, I like this flow. Um, I wasn't crazy about the instrumental. I found it pretty uninteresting. Um... I'm sure Drake fans will enjoy this, um, and it's, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I don't know what to believe right now, um, this is my, these are my initial thoughts, if I, if I have more thoughts later, I might upload a second video, but, um, I'm just gonna say, this line right here, this shit really rubbed me the wrong way, as a survivor myself. <laughs> um, I found this disgusting. I found this, uh, very trashy. And when I heard it, I was like, okay, fuck Drake. I, th I, th I personally feel that I've been very objective in this beef so far. I haven't really picked sides. Yes, I've, I've, like, reacted more to Kendrick's uh, music, because I'm, uh, I'm more of a Kendrick fan, I'm just being true to myself, but I've given Drake credit, I said Family Matters was really good, uh, I even loved push push-ups, I didn't like Taylor Made Freestyle, um, but, you know, it's not like I've just been completely anti-Drake this whole time, but right now, after hearing that line, I'm kind of on the fuck Drake train, because that really... I'm offended, personally. You offended me, Drake. Also, this is a... Shout out to Lydia in my Discord server. She posted the screenshot from a, a different server, I guess. Um, I, I agree. I think that's a, a fair reaction. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I was not a fan of the song at all. Uh, I think it's an okay diss. It's pretty disrespectful. I'm waiting to see how Kendrick's going to respond. Because you know Kendrick is going to respond. Um, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got to say. Nah, fuck that. I got more to say. The fucking angle where he's like, Yeah, you called me a pedophile, but I'm not a pedophile. Because if I'm a pedophile, then how come I wasn't arrested? It's like... Huh? Do you hear what you're saying? Like, we had video proof of R. Kelly peeing on a 14-year-old girl. And he was not arrested for, like, over a decade. Probably even longer than that. I don't know the exact sequence of events. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm only 25, so I wasn't 
on top of things when all that shit came out. I mean, I, I saw the, uh, the surviving R. Kelly shit, but only, like, the first episode. But, yeah, also, going back to the whole Mother I Sober thing, Drake really misinterpreted that song, uh, because Kendrick was not molested. Or at least he says he was not molested. Um, so to be like, it's just like, bro, like, you're not, you're not, this isn't a good defense. You're just making yourself look more questionable. At least to me as a survivor. The way you're handling this, it's not a good look. So yeah, that's, uh, now I, that's all I have to say. I just have to add that a little bit, because like, I, I went back and listened to the song, and, and, uh, it's really, it's not enough. Family Matters was, is the, is the best disc that Drake has dropped so far. And even that one had really questionable lines in it, too. But this, this Mother I, I Sober shit, that's probably the wackest shit Drake has said in this whole fucking beef. That might be wacker than the Taylor Made freestyle, honestly. This shit is, is... Alright, I'm just gonna say it. This disc is trash. <laughs> Fuck it. I just, I just, I didn't even feel that way at first, but like as I'm talking about this, I'm convincing myself more and more that this is one of the worst tracks of the whole beef. It's not as bad as Champagne Moments, I don't know. It's like on the level of Taylor Made Freestyle for me, honestly. It's, it's just another track that I'm never gonna listen to again. Okay, now I've pretty much said everything. Uh, I have to say. I'm gonna go listen to Meet the Grams again. I'm sure sure Kendrick will respond soon. You guys already know I'm gonna make a video about that, so stay tuned. Legalize it. Don't demonize it. Stay keeping my brothers and sisters. And as always, peace out. It's totally surreal.